our last port on the Celebrity Summit week-long cruise in the Southern Caribbean. Come along with us to find this little piece of paradise on St. Thomas. Our cabin steward on the summit was excellent. He kept our room clean and was kind enough to fill our backpack cooler with ice in the mornings on port days. The port at St. Thomas was very welcoming, but we didn't stick around because we had a busy day of exploring planned. When we got off the summit, we attempted to walk to our car rental company, but we later found out that they would have picked us up at the port for free if we would have just called them. Today we're in St. Thomas with plans to go and find a few secluded beaches. Our day started off a little bit rough. Uh, Google Maps tried to take us through private property to our car rental place, which is premium car rentals. So we were actually walking along the road and a nice mechanic asked us where we were going and ended up offering to uh, take us the rest of the way to the car rental place. It would probably be a good 15 minute walk from the cruise port, but if you go through the city center, you'd be able to, to make it here. Uh, so now we got our car and we're gonna see what we can find on the island today. Dorothea Beach to try to find the path to Neltjeburg. We're taking Crown Mountain Road to a place to park at Dorothea Beach. The Crown Bay Road is pretty nice compared to some of the other roads we drove on on uh -oh. the other islands. Be careful here. Whoa. It's a little windy but not too bad so far. There are a few options to get to this beach. One obviously being this hike. You can also do a rock scramble from Dorothea Beach. And we have also heard that there is a road you can drive down, but it's in pretty rough shape. Probably not a great idea to take a rental car down there. And of course, by boat. I don't mind this path at all. It's quite pretty. The trail was pretty easy, and we will be posting another video with more details about how to hike to Neltjeburg. So make sure to subscribe if you may be interested in visiting in the future once travel resumes. After about a 15 minute hike, we reached our destination. Altaberg. two other channels that helped us find Neltjeburg without having to do the rock scramble today. And that is Live Life with a View and How to Beach. So if you aren't subscribed to their channels, head on over and check them out too. We have visited St. Thomas a few times and are always impressed with the beach options. If you want seclusion and don't mind hiking, you can visit Neltjeburg, Santa Maria, or Sandy Beach. And if you don't want to work that hard, there are excellent options like Megan's Bay and Cokie Beach. We spent a good hour or so here at Melchiburg Beach. It was a beautiful beach to put down our blanket and lay in the sun for a while. The area beach areas in the water, they are a little bit rocky, so if you plan to do some swimming, you might want to bring some water shoes. 
We would recommend Nelchburn Beach for anybody who wants to come and relax on St. Thomas away from the crowds. For more secluded beach videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. Next, we're going to try and find Santa Maria Beach, which is supposed to be another secluded beach here on the island of St. Thomas. If you want to find Santa Maria Beach on St. Thomas, you will likely need to do some research. We will also be posting another video about how to hike to Santa Maria when we're done with our cruise series. It is definitely lightly traveled and quite a bit overgrown. The grass in this area gets pretty tall. Yeah, wow, look at this. It's really beautiful. Oh, we can hear the waves a little louder. So hopefully that's a good sign. We got to the second area with a rope to help you get down. Found some beautiful purple flowers. Whew. I'd say after a good 20 minute walk, or a bit of a hike, we have made it. Nobody here. The hike to this beach is worth it. The sand is nice and soft, and when you get in the water, it's sandy as well. Whereas at Nelchberg, it was pretty rocky. And we're still the only ones here. We really enjoyed our time at Santa Maria because even with a few cruise ships in port in St. Thomas, we were the only people on the beach the entire time. We had so much fun hanging out here at Santa Maria Beach. We were able to lay down our beach blanket, chill out on the sand, and swimming was also really cool here because the sand was also really soft when you went in the water, whereas at a beach like Nelchberg, kind of needed water shoes to uh, to enjoy being in the water there so we will definitely come back to Santa Maria but we have to go back to the ship it's our last day tomorrow we go back to San Juan Puerto Rico then we have to go home so we want to make sure to get back on the ship to enjoy a little bit more before we have to go back to reality tomorrow saying goodbye to Santa Maria Beach who treated us very well, and we really do hope to return someday. Back to the trail we go. We were a bit excited to return to the summit. We had received an invitation for a sail away party on the helipad at the front of the ship. It was kind of funny because people arrived dressed up for the occasion, but open-toed shoes were not allowed on the helipad for safety reasons. So many people were wearing tennis shoes with their fancy clothes. Uh, we had never done a behind the scenes ship tour, so we enjoyed seeing areas of the summit that usually staff can only access. From the helipad, on the Celebrity Summit. It was a unique experience for us to remember our last night on the Celebrity Summit. Skylar, more champagne? I'm good. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is the first time we've actually been on the helipad of a ship, so it's been a really cool experience. It's been very beautiful sailing away from this island, and there's unlimited champagne.
This was when the summit set sail to return to Puerto Rico. The week went by so fast, and I still can't believe all of the fun experiences we were able to cram into this vacation. We really enjoyed each port we visited, along with the amazing staff on the summit. When it was time to leave the helipad, we at least had one more dinner in the Cosmopolitan dining room to look forward to. Ming was our assistant waiter, and she was so kind and attentive. Ooh, and we've got always three different dips. This one is pops and breast eggs, French baguette, and French uh, and rolls. Yeah. Okay. This one is uh, pops and black pepper, powder, and creamy ranch. Oh, creamy ranch. Creamy ranch. Mm. Our waiter, Ronaldo, was always so welcoming and accommodating. And Maria, the sommelier, always greeted us with a big smile and had excellent recommendations. The staff really added to our overall experience on the summit. Because it was the last night, the staff were recognized in the dining room. All of the cheering from the crowd confirmed that many other passengers enjoyed cruising on the summit just as much as we did. Looking back on our experience, we feel so lucky to have sailed on the summit a few weeks before cruising was suspended worldwide. Thank you to everyone on the ship and in ports that helped make our trip so special. We have one more episode in this cruise series of our excursion in Puerto Rico. After that, we will be posting a few more videos of the hikes that we went on in Antigua, St. Kitts, and St. Thomas. Thank you again to the staff on the Celebrity Summit. We sincerely hope that all of you have been staying safe throughout the pandemic. If you enjoy our content, consider hitting the subscribe button and turning the notifications on. Thanks for watching.